Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark and Battle video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at Golden Cooler and we're going to take a look at his Extreme Z Awakening that has come to DBZ Dark and Battle Global with the Dragon Ball Super Hero collaboration or the Super Dragon Ball Heroes collaboration I should say and basically this includes his Extreme Z Awakening. Now he becomes a Dragon Ball Heroes category or Extreme type tech category lead of 130 percent and his passive gets quite a good revamp he goes to attack and defense of 130 percent with an additional 30 percent when performing a super attack of defense he reduces damage received by 10 percent within the turn with each super attack performed up to 30 percent max but he also already launches two additional attacks each of which have a high chance that's 50 percent of becoming a super attack when there are another three or more Dragon Ball category allies on the team, Dragon Ball Heroes category allies on the team, all allies get key plus two and attack and defense at 20%, and he gives all Dragon Ball Heroes category allies attack and defense of 20%. So he's a pretty good support. Uh, his revamped super attack effect is raising attack and raising defense for one turn, and his links are strong as clan in space, cold judgment, brainiac, solid support, metamorphosis, universe's most malevolent, and shadow the limit. And he's on crossover, dragon ball heroes, full power, time travelers, transformation boost, and wicked bloodlines. We're going to be taking a look at how well he does on the dragon ball heroes team, and he's going to be better orientated towards an extreme dragon ball heroes team. So Kula is one of the more interesting units. Uh, I think the one thing I do like a lot about Kula is that he is a support, but he also can be relatively tanky. He's not going to be a super tanky unit in that he's not going to be like a first slot tank, mainly because he gains damage reduction off of his super attack effects, and his tanking can vary a little bit because you can get obviously pretty lucky and get all three super attacks, or you can get pretty unlucky and get only one. And that's going to obviously dramatically affect just how well you tank. But one nice thing about Kula is that his kit is pretty all-encompassing. It has additionals built in, it has support built in, it has damage reduction built in, and you can build him into full crit. So you won't have that many issues running Kula on many teams. Kula's link set is also pretty good. He links really well with other extreme class Dragon Ball Heroes units. Here you can see Kula linking pretty well, three great links, all active, uh, but also some pretty nice defense, 207,000, obviously we have quite a bit of support on the rotation, but Kula's looking really, really solid, uh, 207,000 at 55%, and when he attacks he is going to build up that damage reduction, he's also going to raise his defense, that defense will go from 200 to around 240, to around 280 to around 300k if he gets all three supers and you can see there he fired off two supers which is all pretty good so he's looking really solid uh, he's looking really strong uh, does some nice damage as well three or so million and if you build him into full crits with additional dupes not only are you going to see much higher attack stats but you're also going to see some pretty good defensive performance from him as well uh, with the damage reduction, with the increasing defense, Kula is really going to be looking super duper solid. Uh, I think Kula looks really good. I'm super excited to uh, try him out. I want to see just how good he can really get. Uh, I do have a dupe in him. I haven't obviously activated it because I want to take a look at him at 55% and see just how good he is. But he has a great link set for the Extreme Dragon Ball Heroes team. Uh, a ton of them have Brainiacs, a ton of them have Core Judgment, uh, a ton of them have Shadow and the Limit, so immediately he's looking pretty good. Plus he has the staples for the Wicked Bloodlines team, which is Universe Most Malevolent, and Strongest Clan in Space. So Kula's looking pretty good again this turn. Obviously no real direct change uh, based off of last turn, but he's looking pretty solid. I would say Kula... On a scale of 1 to 10, it is probably around an 8 or a 9 for me. I think he's really good. I think he's one of the more usable units at 55%. Yes, he is a little bit limited to being a support, but he can still do a lot of great work. Whether it's second slot or third slot, this guy can really do quite well. Um, 
I don't suggest building them into additional. I know it can be tempting to try and secure that additional super attack, uh, mainly to secure damage reduction, but it's really not necessary. Uh, rather go into full crit and get some real good offensive power out of Kula. But we've seen, well, pretty good actually. I think Kula's looked really impressive here. So we're gonna just jump ahead and look at his links. Uh, his passive is not super restrictive. Uh, you mainly only really have a differential being the support. So you lose 20% support if you don't have Dragon Ball Heroes category allies on your team, which isn't too bad, uh, basically. It's not great, but it's really not too bad uh, overall. It doesn't affect the majority of his passive, which is his tanking and his ability to do damage and fire multiple super attacks. So pretty solid stuff. Overall, his link set is really good. Uh, his link set is pretty solid. Like I said, a bit more extreme Dragon Ball Heroes orientated, uh, but still really good. Uh, Cold Judgment is a great defensive link. Brainiacs is a great overall link. Uh, Metamorphosis is really strong, although not too common to get on extreme Dragon Ball Heroes. Universe is most malevolent, strongest clan in space. Cover him for the most part when it comes to Wicked Bloodlines teams. Solid support is maybe probably the one that's most out there, but he shares it with a couple Dragon Ball Heroes units. And same with Shattering the Limit, he shares that with a couple Dragon Ball Heroes units as well. Uh, notably, he links pretty well with Fu, uh, who's obviously also got his EZA, pretty strong unit. He also links well with Robert Lu, uh, which is also a pretty strong unit that recently got her Awakening. And he shares three links with Super Hearts and with Strength Sealers. So he's got some good meshing with the Extreme Heroes team. I think overall you'd be hard pressed to say he looks bad in any way, shape or form. Obviously on the Wicked Bloodline side you've got Metamorphosis, Universe Most Malevolent and Strongest Clan in Space. All of which are pretty solid links for you to invest in if you want to run them. Uh, although I do suggest not really trying to use them on a Wicked Bloodlines team. It is possible, uh, especially if you have the AGL, Golden Metal Cooler, but it's not necessary. You can have uh, Golden Cooler run a lot better on other teams. Uh, time Travelers, Transformation Boost, Full Power, etc. So either way you can run them. Uh, it's all the more than fine but yeah it's just going to depend on what your box looks like and what team he fits on best for you but either way he's the kind of guy that's always going to have three links with a unit more so than anything else but three links honestly is okay but that's going to be it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one so until then take care stay safe and Bye.